I invite Mr. Avishkar Singhvi, leading advocate, to deliver the vote of thanks. Honorable Vice President of India, Honorable Chief Justice of India, Dr. Abhishek Singhvi, Professor C. Rajkumar, Honorable Judges of the Delhi High Court, Honorable Cabinet Ministers, and the Honorable Chief Minister of Delhi, and members of this esteemed audience, colleagues and friends, it is indeed a privilege for me to profess my pr profound gratitude to the dignitaries on the dais and the members of this delightful gathering. The Honorable Vice President of India and the Honorable Chief Justice of India endure unimaginably busy schedules, and we are grateful that they managed to grace us today. We are truly beholden to them for making time for this auspicious event in honor of Dr. Late L.M. Singhvi. The Honorable Vice President of India has regaled us with his rich experiences in many walks of life and memories of his association with LMS, as he was fondly remembered. Those were perhaps anecdotes of a different era, where such warm personal relationships prospered and blossomed, irrespective of political color, position, pelf, or power. One needs to perhaps hearken back to those times of less rancor, less distrust, and greater magnanimity, and, and more dialogue. That is what allowed traditions to grow, conventions to solidify, and legacies to be established. The guest of honor has been an astute leader, an eminent jurist, and statesman par excellence. To put it modestly, he's a fine concoction of experience, intellect, and wisdom. The Honorable Chief Justice of India has given us a scintillating and transformative lecture of seminal importance. The invaluable words of wisdom shall certainly drive the vehicle of political and social transformation. It is clear, if I may say with respect, that one of his possible lost vocations was that of a distinguished academic lead scholar. Today's inspiring lecture will help steer the nation to bridge the hiatus between promise and performance, between precept and actualization, between invention and implementation, between ideation and transformation. His work is of empirical significance, and it, as it bears true faith only to constitutional values, both in letter and spirit. The younger, younger members of the bar are enchanted by his liberal and progressive thought process and strongly support him in developing a constitutional ethos that propels a refined and balanced discourse. The concept of universal suffrage was entrenched in many facets of Dr. Singh, L.M. Singhvi's ideology. He was a true friend to one and all, in courts, in parliament, to nations as a diplomat, and to his family too. At its core was his firm belief in the ideology of equality for all members and franchisees of this great nation, with utmost respect for the feminist movement, which also has its direct nexus with the idea of universal adult suffrage. Further, his deep and abiding faith in the idea of collaboration and consensus building in a participative, inclusive, and diverse democracy was everlasting. Today, we have moved far ahead in the 21st century, but the real challenge that lies before us is with regard to the mode and manner in which we put power back into the hands of the people, especially the most marginalized sections of our society. That will truly be transformative. I could go on and on today, but my brief is extremely limited, and I will end by genuinely thanking the Honorable Vice President of India and the Honorable Chief Justice of India for continuing to enlighten us and inspiring millions of lifelong students of law, political science, liberal arts, and history. I want to thank the eminent members of the panel for their brilliance in giving us, giving us something that will remain scribed, not only in our memory, but also hopefully in actionable terms for representatives of the real franchisees of this great nation, its people. I want to thank all our special guests for being with us today. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Mr. Singhvi. I request all to please rise for the national anthem. Janagana
जन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्तर बंगा भिंद्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जल धितरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाधा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे request you to remain listen as the chief guest and the guest of honor leaves the venue